The NRA has a new home defense course. Yes. No, seriously. Yep. Hey, put a gun in your kid's room. Everything will be fine. I mean, what could possibly go wrong, right? It's not like they're ever going to look over your shoulder and figure out the combination to the lock. And, uh, well, and the NRA has a new president and, you know, lots of interesting things. Oh, and uh, what, Texas now has said uh, they're going to nullify federal laws. So we've got four states now that have uh, joined the Confederate uh, sort of movement. Alan Corwin is the author and publisher of Gun Laws uh, of America website, gunlaws.com. And uh, Alan, welcome to the program, or welcome Great back to, be to the with program you again, Tom. Good to have you with us. Um, I it it seems to me that even for somebody who is as gung ho for the Second Amendment as you are, that the NRA having a uh, for two out of the three days of their the first two out of the th- uh, the I guess the third day was only half a day of their convention, having a, a zombie statue of Obama that you could shoot at that bleeds real blood. And uh, having a new president who refers to the Civil War as the War of Northern Aggression has to be a little over the top. Uh, I miss those things. I was there for the three days. Uh, It was filled with decent-looking people to me and uh, a lot of interesting seminars, a lot of exhibits, a bunch of good people, Tom. I miss the uh, the over-the-top stuff you're talking about, a lot of scholars, a lot of lawyers, a, a wonderful, fine exhibition of decent Americans. That's what I saw. Well, I'm glad that that's what you saw. That, I and mean, I'm sure that you know some large part of uh, the NRA convention was that. And uh, you know, I'm again, I'm not saying we need to get a, rid of our guns. I think that our gun violence problem in the United States is part of a larger violence problem, which is part of an inequality problem as much as a gun problem. In fact, I'll frankly, go along with that. And in fact, frankly, I think the the biggest problem, if you wanted to identify something that probably would go down if gu- fewer guns were available, are uh, accidental shootings and suicides. I um, think the biggest problem right now is hoplophobia and the people who are mental cases who aren't being get given adequate treatment. The hoplophobic reaction to Newtown was astronomical. Uh, people see this one maniac do a horrific act and their reaction is to disarm innocent people who didn't do anything. That is strictly phobic. It's not going to... Well, I, don't, I, I don't know of any legislation that has been proposed to disarm anybody of anything. Do you, really? Well, yes, if you look at the Manchin-Toomey bill or the Schumer bills, they would take away property people already own. They would not. They would, simply, they would simply require people selling guns at gun shows to do the exact same thing that happens when I go into a real store, you know, a regular gun store, and buy a, a, a firearm from a licensed gun dealer. And That's that is, check accurate. my background. The Feinstein bill would, would illegalize... The Feinstein bill was never introduced. ...property people already own. The Feinstein bill never, never, never got a vote from anybody. I mean, it never the got... The Feinstein bill would make it illegal to own property that people already but own. Regular size magazines, the kind the police use to defend right. against criminals. Okay, first of all, I, I, I agree with Diane Feinstein, and I think that's a good thing, that we bring back the assault weapons ban. But let's be clear about it. The Feinstein bill was never a bill. Well, she There is no Feinstein bill. Because nobody would support it, but the plan well, she was couldn't that. get enough support to get the you know, and and she couldn't even get it on as an amendment to 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 me. But but you know, this is this is this is a straw man argument. I, I are you seriously saying that you think that if somebody walks into a licensed gun dealer into a regular gun shop, and which is about sixty percent of gun sales in the United States, and says you know uh, I'd like that forty caliber Smith and Wesson there, you know. Uh, and they and they say, okay, I, you know, I need your name and address, and it's going to take about two three minutes here while I pump this into the FBI database, and uh, the, you know that if that happens also in gun shows where more than seventy five vendors are present, which seems to be like a huge loophole, that somehow that's going to be the end of the Second Amendment. Well, this isn't straw man in New York. They made it illegal to have a magazine that holds more than seven rounds. We're not talking about that. We're ta- I'm talking about the I'm talking about the background check bill that just got defeated in the United in the United States Senate, and and w- the House won't even bring up because they don't want to go on record 
with this thing. He, you know, <laughs> the last thing John Boehner and Eric Cantor want is to go on record with this. We're going to end up going all over the block. The uh, mansion to me bill, which I have in front of me, is a gun registration bill. That's the part that defeated it. If you take the gun, it is not a gun registration out. bill. In fact, it's specifically uh, paragraph two of that. If you have it in front of you, you can read it out loud to our listeners. It specifically prohibits a gun registry in the United it States. It actually allows gun registration. I have it right here. Page read me the language. I have it right here. Read me the language when, in where it says that you know there shall be no gun registry, registry, no national gun registry. Well, it says prohibition of national gun registry, and it doesn't say what a registry is. Oh, jeez. So Come on. Oh. Alan, it actually says prohibition of gun registry. That's the title, right? That's read right. the sentence that follows that. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Tom. Just let's, read the let's sentence. Let's do this right. Let's do this right. I, I wrote the unabridged guide to federal gun law. Yeah. If you don't define a term then it can be anything. So the government could make a list, a database, a record, a book, a roster. Those aren't a registry. So it could make a roster of everybody who has a gun, and that's not a registry. So it's not outlawed. You know, Alan, it by and large, that's already available. Listen, stop for a minute. I can sell you a list right now of, of you know, hundreds of thousands of, of uh, gun owners in America. I, that's you know? not a registry. No, but I, I mean, the lists are available. The NRA sells them. But that's not a registry, so the government isn't restricted. If you took this language out, you wouldn't have the resistance you have. But if you, you took this language problem. out, you would have ten times as much res resistance because that language prohibits the government from having a gun. And there's already a law on the books that says that, that the government cannot have a gun registry. And, and that law it. defines what a registry is, and this law simply refers to that. So, as you know, the definition already exists at, at law. It doesn't refer to that at all. Let, let's look at it this way. Right now, you have to send the name and address of everybody who buys a gun to the FBI. That's the way the system's set up, right? right. And the Why FBI is forbidden from keeping a list of all those names and addresses. Well, it actually, that's not what it says, and this is too complex. To that's do. not what it says in that, in that piece of legislation. That's what the law already says. This is a law that was passed, like, what, eight or ten years ago? 1986 Federal Firearms Owners Protection Act. Thank you. Act. And... and Eric Holder has already violated that with what he calls a demand letter, and he's making a list. But he doesn't call it a registry, and so he's making the list. Um, right so are you, you sir, Alan, Alan, we're talking with Alan Corwin, his website, gunlaws.com. Are you one of these folks who thinks that Obama is going to come up with a list and someday show up at your house with a SWAT team and say, give us all your guns? I don't want to change the subject to that. Well, I, I mean, I, the that. only reason it seems that you could be so hysterical about this would be that, isn't it? Let's, let's not change the subject. Let's do one thing. Well, could time. you just t tell me whether or not you're one of the, you, know, you think that that's a possibility? I, I won't. Keep diverting the subject before we get anything done, Tom. Let's do things one at a time. Why so you're not going to answer my question. Name and, why would you want to send the name and address of everybody who buys a gun to the FBI instead of sending... So you can find out if they're criminals or crazy? Can, what? So you can find out if they're criminals or crazy before you okay. sell them a gun? Why not send the list of the people who are criminals and crazy to the dealers so the dealers can look you up? And oh, that's great. You're on so, you want, so you want 10 or 20 or 30,000... Americans around the United States of all political persuasions, you want liberal gun store owners to have a list of all the people who've been adjudicated violent and crazy in their neighborhood or community that they could like leak to the local newspaper or that they could publish on the web. Well, that would be a crime. They, they, these are the people you're trusting. To but I thought you can't stop crimes with laws, therefore you shouldn't have laws. Why are you saying that? Because that's the NRA argument against gun laws. Oh, that's you're never going to stop gun, gun... That's not argument. That's not your argument. No, it's of course... That would allow a background check without a registry, and then people would support it. That would be reasonable. Okay. In other words... Alan, I'm going to leave you with the last word. Thank you very much. 15 minutes past the hour. Gunlaws.com. Alan Corbett.